Jesse, he's my brother. He is an amazing person. He's honest, caring, hardworking, outgoing, determined, and once he sets his mind to something, he finishes it. He went to college to become a diesel mechanic, and he needed to finish it within a year. Dropping out of college has happened in my family before. Jesse ended up dropping out because of financial reasons and mental health that he just was struggling with. <coughs> Watching him go through this, I know that he's not alone. There's a lot of other people that are struggling with all of this. Deb Ross, student life director of Heston College, says 23 students drop out of college each year from every class at Heston. That is two out of 10 students. There are so many reasons why to drop out of college, but taking education classes and learning to become a teacher, working at USD 373 every day for almost three years, I understand and know that mental health and finance are very important. I want to take the time to focus on two of the main points, which are finance and student mental health. So let's talk about finance. College prices are going up. American Institution revealed that colleges and universities between 2003 and 2008, students paid $6.18 billion. And while we are paying to go to college, the cost of living is very, it's getting more expensive. Deb Roth, student life director, again at Heston College, says that um, dropouts, that almost half our population at Heston College, they drop out because of financial reasons. Just think about what you pay. Textbooks, room and board, and food that you need, and everything else, clothing, it's getting very expensive. What are students doing? Well, according to Lori Kinsley, business office director, says that almost all students get more and more loans to stay in college, and some cannot return. She says two cannot return because of such a high bill. Now, let's move on to mental health. Mental health nowadays is becoming worse and worse, and Deb Roth, college, um, Deb Ross, student life director, says college mental health should be taken seriously because almost, again, half our campus is struggling with this issue. And they have mental health before they get here, so it's becoming more and more hard for them to be able to continue with college. I personally know about this because I had a roommate last year. Um, she was struggling with this mental health issue and it was it's very hard to live with somebody like that. Um, you saw a lot of things that cannot be explained. Um, and this leads to college students and counselors. They can, college students cannot always get the help they need. Julie Lehman and Kevin Wilder are Heston College counselors. Kevin Wilder teaches psychology um, and they provide many options and opportunities for us to take for to help with mental health. And but they are not a therapist, they are not a psychiatrist to help us, to help students with um, their mental health if it becomes worse. A friend of mine, um, she last year dropped out because of this situation. Um, she, she couldn't get the help she needed, and she knew it, so she had to, she had to go and, um, yeah, she had, she had to go and get more help because it was really hard for her to stay here. Now that we know the two reasons why college students drop out and which are financial reasons and mental health, um, I want to leave you with this. Every person has two educations, one which he receives from others and one more important which he gives to himself.